What's up, YouTubians? Gary here with BW Jawbreaker. It's kind of hard to get things done when it's constantly raining down here in Florida. Sorry for the delay between the rain, life, and work. It's been pretty hectic. Wow, that's short. Woo. Anyway, today we're talking tire sizes. So let's get to tire sizes, huh? And before I forget, Vinny's doing good, hanging out in here in the rain. Yeah, we got a moderate rain. Nothing too, too horrible, but enough to make it difficult. All right, guys. So, tire sizes. Front tire sizes to be exact. Now, We'll use Jawbreaker here as an example. I'm running a stock beam that has adjusters in it so I can get the height that I want, okay? That is the stock size tire, a 165-8015. Now granted, that is my spare tire. It's not the size I'm running on the front. This is what happened on the way when I was about 40 miles from the house. The other day. More lightning! So that's what happened when I was about 40 miles away from the house the other day. Um, not doing Volkswagen related stuff, so I didn't bother recording it. So I had to throw on a spare to get home. This is a 175 65, so it's slightly wider, a little shorter. Okay, so let's go around the other side. I'll show you what that tire looks like on the car. That is the 175.65. So as you can tell, I run my hand up there, I got room. It's actually a very nice fit. Unlike the stock size tire, which I cannot even get my finger in there. It's tight. Made, uh, really made turning quite a challenge trying to come home with that spare tire on the car. Oh well, what do you do, right? So for replacement tires, I had a friend of mine had a set of tires, a little bit smaller. These are a 155 50 15. So they are a smaller profile, slightly narrower. I'll bring it around. So a little bit narrower than a 155 is definitely a little narrower than a 175. So here's your 155 your 175 now that the thunder's done you can get away with a stock size tire without a narrowed beam if you use the drum brakes this has the empty front disc brake kit that uses the stock drum spindles so they're not drop spindles these are stock spindles if you look right in there you can see my caliper for the front disc brakes I did run these tires for a short while and I could get my finger in there so even though they say that these front disc brake kits do not set an offset they do have a slight offset and that's why it made it a bear to run this tire on the way home, but we got home. That's all that matters. So what's my point? My point is, run whatever the heck you want. There's tons of tire options. Don't worry about what other people say. Do what you like, it's your car. But anyway, gotta go cook dinner for the kids. Till next time, you guys have a good week.